What up nomads? In this video, I'm talking pros and cons of hard shell versus soft shell suitcases. So you can choose the best one for your next trip. Let's go. Now, before we get started, if you're into fashion, beauty, and wellness tips for people who love to travel, make sure you're subscribed to the capsule suitcase. In my experience, my hard shell suitcases have been much lighter when empty and are slightly easier to lift over my head into the overhead bins. This also means that when weighing a checked bag, I won't be wasting precious pounds to the weight of the bag itself. Now, not all hard shell cases are light and not all soft shell cases are heavy, so make sure you read up on the weight of the bag when shopping for a new one. This information is usually found online. A lot of hard shell cases come with four wheels, and if you have a good suitcase, those wheels are like butter. This was a game changer for me and one of the reasons why I switched to an away suitcase. Most soft shell suitcases only have two wheels, although this isn't always the case, so make sure you check before you buy. Now flexibility is where soft shell bags actually win out. If you need to squeeze something into a tighter spot, it has a bit more give, while hard shells do not. What I love most about soft shell bags is that you can access the contents of your bag more easily. You can store things so they are easy to get at and not have to open your full suitcase. There are some hybrid models like this Away model that actually have all the features of a hard shell with some of the features of a soft shell. This one really depends on the model, but what I like about soft shell bags are their ability to expand and be stuffed to the max. Hard shells are rigid and therefore you can't squeeze out any more room. Soft shells also often have that extra zipper to expand the suitcase and give you that many more inches. Fabric suitcases are, well, fabric, so they aren't the most weatherproof if you need to drag your suitcase through the rain and slush. On that subject, fabric suitcases are often harder to clean, whereas hard shells have the advantage of being easy to wipe down, or I've heard that a magic eraser can do wonders on it as well. Hard shells are easier to customize, which you wanna do when you check a bag so you can easily spot it at baggage claim. Stickers or artwork are some examples of ways to personalize your bag. On the other hand, a red scarf can really go a long way in making your bag stand out, whether it's a hard shell or a soft shell. The jury is still out on whether hard shell cases or soft shell suitcases are more durable in the long run. So here are my personal thoughts on the matter. Hard shells are often made of polycarbonate material, so they're super resistant while having a bit of flex. This avoids them cracking under pressure. However, once they do crack, it's kind of downhill from there. So I recommend getting one that is guaranteed for life, like an away suitcase or a Rimoa. It's essentially the last suitcase you'll ever buy. On the flip side, you can keep patching and fixing a soft shell suitcase for a long time before it really gives up totally. On my blog, I have a whole post on all the ways your suitcase can break, from the wheels, the zippers, the handle, and how to fix it. I'll leave a link in the description box below. This can vary quite a bit, but generally soft shell suitcases are more affordable. So that's something to consider if budget is a factor for you. And that's it. As you can see, there are serious pros and cons to each type of suitcase. I hope this video is helpful in giving you some things to consider as you choose your next suitcase. Happy travels. Thanks for watching this video until the end. For more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the Capsule Suitcase and turn on notifications so you get all the fresh content as soon as it comes out. Thanks for supporting this channel. Happy travels.